in one day and yes i am actually here at the moon i need to get a war sat for my sleeper stimulants i know i haven't gotten the sleeper stimulants yet honestly i really don't give a fuck about it though uh but i want to talk about destiny's uh, i mean bungie's weekly update uh yesterday i was very very aware of the destiny update uh, that they released yesterday but actually i didn't really have a chance to make a video on it because i was working on naruto ultimate ninja storm 4 videos guys if you want a good game to play right now that's a lot of fun getting out of the ultimate ninja storm 4 right because destiny let's face it right now with the crimson days it's pretty fucking dead like you guys are probably bored of that shit already um but let's let's talk about the weekly update all right because i don't want you guys to think like i'm some negative asshole if you guys know me if you guys, if you guys have been in my channel for a very long time obviously you guys do know i'm a huge destiny fan you know i love destiny but the reality is if i'm not having fun with it if i have nothing to do in the game i'm just not gonna play it which is the reason why i don't upload frequently frequent destiny videos because i'm not going to torture myself in fact i wanted to put some um i wanted to put some uh crucible gameplay but then i got into the crucible and then i realized how fucked up the connections were and then i was like nah i'm not going to torture myself for 10 minutes i'll just go to the moon and just chill here and talk to you guys of course but I, all right let's talk about uh, bungie's weekly update right because yesterday they stated that uh in spring of this year you know around springtime they will be releasing a major ex i mean i mean a major update all right or a large update and it says they said that it's going to add a lot of replay value now They've said that in the past, and a lot of Destiny YouTubers are actually, you know, they're all agreeing with each other. The Destiny community right now is being very, very skeptical, mainly because they have said that in the past, and we really just haven't gotten the replayability that we actually want. So, like, what are you guys going to do? Are you guys going to update the old raids? Because you do know that that's not going to bring back the hardcore audience, even though you have an increased light level. That's, that's really just not going to happen. Uh, and then... Another point that I want to make, you know, if they are going to bring a large update uh, with, you know, new legendary weapons and all of that stuff, um, how long will this update last? You know, will it have a lot of replayability until, of course, the large expansion that they say they are going to be dropping, uh, you know, mainly towards the fall of this year? Or I, I think they said later on this year. I did read the, we the weekly update very, very quickly. Um, but yeah, honestly, that is a huge question that I have. Like, are we going to get a House of Wolves type expansion? Or by large expansion, do you mean a Taken King type expansion? A Taken King type expansion, I really would like it. But like I said, we have seen in the past, you know, Bungie, uh, when it comes down to expansion, the Taken King was great. But when it came down to replay value and longevity, they pretty much fucked it up in that, in, 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 in the Taken King. All right, because right now, let's face it, the majority of Destiny players are pretty much dead. They're just playing other games because Destiny is not a really enjoyable game uh, at the moment. So, yeah, th th you know, those are my thoughts on the uh, big update. Uh, I really hope that the big update does add a lot of replay value. But honestly, I really do uh, doubt it. And when it comes down to the large expansion, obviously, um, I do hope that uh, it's going to be a Taken King type expansion. So I can at least, you know, go back to making two destiny videos every day and you know make destiny videos for like what three months in a row i really really like destiny guys i really really do you know I, I'm, I'm only being hard on it because i want this game to succeed and pretty much what they've done with destiny so far it's fuck it up i mean lying to the community about skill-based matchmaking congrats kids you played yourselves never do that again all right especially when it comes down to a game where the people buys guys something that you guys need to understand about business is that the a business it's not a business a business is its customers all right and with no customers you're out of business all right bungie so next time you try to lie about your uh, you know your freaking customers think twice because you might lose a lot of players um let's talk about the other thing that they said in the weekly update they will be coming out with a major title release on 2017 now did they say early 2017 I don't know. In fact, I'm sorry, guys. This is very unprofessional, but I'm just going to log in to my PC right now and I'm going to see if they said uh, late 2017 or not, uh, because I do want to bring you guys the accurate news. All right. They did say uh, beyond that, the team is focused on delivering a large expansion later this year and a full Destiny sequel in 2017, which of course they didn't really give us a time, but I do have to say this, if a Destiny sequel, I'm talking about Destiny 2, if Destiny 2 drops in fall of 2017, I'm pretty sure that by now, by that time, the Destiny game itself, like the, all the Destiny players are pretty much gonna move on to bigger and better things. I'm talking about Titanfall 2, I'm talking about the new Call of Duty, I'm talking about all of that good stuff. So if Bungie doesn't wanna fuck this up, I would really say that the best thing to release a Destiny sequel 
it's on early 2017 i'm talking about i'm talking about february i'm talking about march maybe i'm talking about may or something like that but let's face it the game's probably gonna be pretty pretty dead on 2017 january and honestly guys i'm gonna give you guys now my thoughts on these news i think uh this is a very very bad decision by bungie and activision uh this is completely completely terrible and it's still going to damage the game even more than it's already damaged and the reason for that is it's because since we're not going to be getting a destiny sequel on the fall of 2016 we're in 2016 right yeah since we're not going to be getting a destiny sequel on the fall of 2016 uh it means that you know there's going to be a lot more of content scarcity uh in the game i hope i said that word correctly uh, in other words there's not going to be a lot of stuff to play because we're just going to be getting a large expansion and a minor update another thing that worries me about this weekly update is that they said we're going to be getting a big update um you know later on in the year like around spring but they didn't really mention if we are going to be getting uh, other updates other small updates like crimson days or festival of the lost or srl or something like that because if we only get that update and then we get the large expansion on 2016 and we only get that yeah man destiny's gonna be pretty stale and pretty dry like have you guys ever texted those people that they always reply with OK and K. Yeah, that's how Destiny is going to feel like. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Destiny video. If you did, of course, feel free to drop it a like. Feel free to drop it a one banana. I'll be seeing you guys on my next Destiny video. Or I'll be seeing you guys on my Naruto Storm Force series. Hero vs. Dungeon into a Black Ops 3 Search and Destroy Mastery. Because those games actually have things that I can play on. Alright, those games actually have replayability. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about these news? And of course, I will be seeing you guys on the next Destiny video. Make sure to subscribe to join the Sabaya Cartel. Peace out.